everybody, it's Leanne here for Art and Soul Studio. I'm just sharing my November Soulful project with you today. Um, just off of a original art journal piece that I did for the project and then I've just um, tweaked it a little bit and redone it for a video for you. So I've just started off with a plain piece of white cardstock, covered it in some clear gesso. Then I'm going to do add some watercolour, just a watercolour wash um, just so that we're not starting off with a um, white background, I find it helps a little bit. Um, not much of this will show through, so it doesn't really matter. Then I've got a Kinder Creation stencil here with some Liquitex flexible modelling paste. You can see that I don't cover all of the stencil, like I'm not particular about getting every single spot of that stencil um, come through. Um, and then drying, drying, drying. A little bit more drying. And next up I'll add a scrap FX stencil. Again with the clear with the modeling paste. Um, you'll see again that I I'm not particular about how I apply that. Um, I will put some texture paste on the outside around it. Um, I know that my person is going to go down the bottom so I'm adding a little bit extra down there, flipping it over and then doing it again on the same other side there. So we're just creating some texture in this background piece. Um, I love texture, I'll put texture in everything. Um, so we're just using stencils a couple of ways I suppose in this video. Now I get some alfoil and a Martha Stewart punch. Good old school punch there happening. Um, just punch out some birds in the wire on this one. I like adding a little bit of something different in there. So just using some deco art media, matte medium just to apply the alfoil, just so birds on the top and then a random piece down the bottom. Now the darn thing doesn't want to stick, you'll see that in a second. So I actually used some more texture paste to stick that bit of alfoil down in the bottom. There's no wrong thing in art journaling, it's just having fun. So now with the, some dilutions in the cut grass for my background, just going over the main stencil part there. And then I will use some Dina Wakely blushing in the acrylic. Um, just not covering up where those birds are because I want them to show through them on the actual alfoil. Um, rubbing it off with a brayer just to remove some of the paint. Some of that texture comes back through again. I love doing that process. So I'm drying. Now in a minute I don't know what happens with my video but we seem to lose a section. Um, so it's just a background. So now I get some um, Marksol pencil, Stabilo Marksol randomly drawing a little border, I love borders adding some water just to let it flow wherever it wants to go um, I will also do this around the birds and add some water um, in the missing piece of video you actually see that I actually go over and just scribble around that border again in the Marksol but I don't wet it this time so it sort of gives a a different sort of effect on the border that you can see in the end video. So drying. Now next is the bit where we miss a bit. I oh know, sorry. We on some white. So in the one of the circles in that stencil of actually was where I'm going to place my person. I was going to do a person and then when I actually started doing it, it actually turned out to be a bit of a rabbit with legs and a dress. I don't know why, it's just what happens. Um, that's what happens with most of my art journaling is just I let it go wherever it takes me. Um, now with the graphite marks all, just marking out the body and the ears, uh, the mouth and the nose and the eyes. Marking out a dress area. And the lips. And add a little bit more white to the background. Spraying it with some water just to help this um, next step go a bit faster. I'm using some Matisse black gesso. I like adding the water to it, it makes it a bit more fluid. Um, I think it just helps with the transparency of it. I do work a bit quickly so you can see that the white's not dry so it's going to turn into a bit of a grey area. That's fine. Um, that's how I like it. So then I'm going to get a Dilusions stencil. And what I actually do is place it on the background just wherever it goes. And then just with the wet baby wipe, 
wiping some of that black off. It actually adds a little bit of subtle texture without it being raised in the background. Um, so I, I love this technique. This is sort of what I use a lot of um, with a lot of my layouts. Um, and then this is where we lost some video. So I've just used um, Dina Wakely in the ocean, the heavy body lapis, and then I've actually used some dilutions in the London blue where I've just gone around just in different areas, added those colours. Um, you can see where I've left out the um, birds again because I really want those birds in the alpha well. I knew that I wanted that so I left that. Um, I accidentally cover up the ear. Whoops. So <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> see, there I go. I just got to fix it. It's no biggie. Just a bit of white, a baby wipe and then a little bit more <laughs> white gesso and we're done. Um, there's no mistakes. I think some of the best um, techniques we learn from mistakes. Well, I do anyway. Okay. I'm adding a little bit more to that background. Thinking, thinking. Then I just get some of that blushing and add it a little bit more to that background there. I do add it a couple of times up into the corner. You can't really see it, but you know, it's all, it's all about the process, isn't it? Adding some more black. I know a black scares a lot of people in background and in art journaling, but I love it. I always add black somewhere. So this one I go around the figure just to highlight it a little bit more so it doesn't get lost in this background. And the saying is about darkness to see. You're needing a little bit of darkness to see the stars. So it you know, works perfectly with this project. There we go, look at that. So again I'll get that stencil out again. That dilution one. And then I get a baby wipe just to pull some of that off. So just a baby wipe, it is wet. Um, just placed randomly, just rolled with my brayer. Um, then with the brayer I just do the background, just roll in different couple of spots as well. It's a bit hard to see this texture now on the video, but in the close-ups you'll see it. Just dry it off a little bit. And then there we go. Wiping the paint off again. Decided to wipe some of that alpha oil off as well. I actually did um, in the wet paint as well, in that part where we can't see the video where it stopped. I actually used just a, a stylus and marks and mixes in there. Now with this stars stencil, you see I actually quite hard in how I'm wiping it back. So I'm taking a lot of paint off. So you can actually see the background a bit more. Um, it is about the stars, so we want to see these stars. So More drying. And then just getting our Tim Holt stencil here with a sponge. Just adding a little bit of colour through there. Also using the sponge to add some pink to the ears, to the face, to the dress, to the legs. Okay, going around now with my Marksol in the black. Um, I love using this. Love, love, love this pencil. I use it on everything. Reacting it with water. Helps give some definition. The only thing you have to remember with these pencils is that they do re-react. Okay, and then I've just got some scribble sticks, adding some colour to the face, watering it down, and then adding some blushing just to the nose, under the eyes, and to the ears. A little bit of white in there, a little bit of white around the back onto the body, to the face, sorry. Then some blue onto the dress. I think it just needed a little bit extra. And then I just wipe it off. Again, just lightly, letting it do its thing. Finishing off this person. Rabbit. A rabbit person. Then I just get my black gesso again. And I'm just randomly doing some circles around some of those stars. So I just wanted to highlight those stars again. 
So you can see how they just sort of pop off of that background now. Again, not being too particular about where I'm applying this black, just wherever it wants to go. Um, I do fill in around that body a bit closer to where I've missed it before. Then I just get a white Sharpie pen, draw it, flood the tip and then blow some of it on there. Just so it gives it a bit of a Milky Way effect in my stars. Okay, now I've got my Dymo tape out, my old clacker. I've got one of the old school clicky clack ones. And I'm just um, punching out the words. And then you'll see me, I'll cut it off in a minute. And then I just add strips words. Um, I like to add a strips instead of the whole phrase or quote as one long piece. I like to do break it up a little bit. I think it just adds that little bit as well. And then I'll also get a stapler just to staple it down. Um, you'll see that I do different, so they're not all the staples aren't facing exactly the same way. I think it just adds a little bit of something to it. Flipping it over, punching down the staples, and then we are done, people. See, quick and easy, just like that. Yeah, you can see some of that texture coming through and I've got some close-ups for you as well now. And I'll just show you the original one. So it looks different. I love this one. I think it turned out really, really lovely. I really, really like it. Um, so there you go. Some Using some stencils in a couple of different ways. A um, little bit of alpha, creating some texture. Absolutely love it. Thank you very much for joining me today. Um, don't forget to head over to our Art and Soul um, Soul Sisters group on Facebook and have a go at the challenge. And don't forget to stop by and have a look at the shop as well. It's all online. Have some fantastic bargains. Awesome service.